What's up guys, people again, and today's Method Monday. Once again, Method Monday! Yeah, it's gonna get old real quick, isn't it? But anyway, today's Method Monday is going to be expanding on something that I touched on in my last video, where I was talking about center tracks, and specifically last time I was talking about PETA center tracks, where you can have them narrow, you can have them wide, it doesn't really matter, you don't have to have it tight, in order for it to be a PETA. But so, today's rendition of that is going to be about a Trad X, where, or an X pocket. Uh, there's a couple different variations of this pocket, so on and so forth, but I like to do what is called the Trad X, which is basically a PETA pocket, but with an X going down the middle. And that's it. That's the only, that's the real difference. Otherwise, the outsides are done exactly the same. Uh, I will be using my pita pocket tradi tree uh... well test version testing prototype of it uh... that they should be for sale soon if not already are for sale um, the only reason why i'm using it is to show you what i'm going to be showing you for this video uh, otherwise it's just going to go back in my box but so uh... trad axes are generally used because a pita pocket just doesn't seem to feel right. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the the feel. Again, re, becoming re, redundant here. The actual feel of the center is not quite up to par. Sometimes people believe that a pita doesn't have uh, as much whip as it should, or it doesn't have as much hold. It has an interesting release or it doesn't come off of that center track the way that they would normally want it or just doesn't seem quite how they would want it and the Trad X is a variation that kinda goes a little bit beyond what a PETA can do as far as hold now the thing with a Trad X is it is actually just an X you go from one side of the leather to the next leather to the X to the next you just crisscross. There's no twists, nothing like that. It's just an X, which is where it gets its name. And the thing about Trad X is, is that they like to expand, or the centerpiece actually likes to expand. Um, Pitas, they like to stay nice and tight most of the time. When you, If you see a lot of people doing them or stay wide, they like to stay that certain thing, no matter what you do, even if you try breaking it in. It doesn't necessarily stretch outward. Now with a Trad X, pretty much whatever you set your leathers at, the leathers are going to stay the same. And of course they're going to break in, uh, but the distances and whatnot, the center is not is going to change. It's going to get wider. The X's are going to expand. That center track is actually going to get about as wide as, say, a classic traditionals. Uh, if you see a lot of my classic traditionals, the center track is actually pretty wide. There's about an inch, inch and a half in between the leathers. And with a Trad X, if you do it correctly, you can have the same effect hold and release wise, but have it be symmetrical. It is a symmetrical pocket, which is believed to have a little bit more consistency than a asymmetrical pocket, like a classic or a rocket pocket. But I beg to differ, but that's people's theories on it. So today we're going to be going into this I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a basic tutorial on how to do it it's very simple very easy you do your however you're going to feed the strings into your center track area it's actually very simple whether you make it tight or not is up to you but I usually try to make them a little bit like a pita center tightness so it's going to be like super close I try to have them be like that uh, and I usually do one side to find my tension so there's where I want both sides to end up at and then go over and under and then I come back up I get the tension from the rest of the knot from so from this knot is locked I don't really let go of it and then I find the tension from the other side so that it becomes symmetrical and then I lock it in I might loosen the other side a little bit or whatever, but then I leave it alone, and then I go right into the next one, 
hold the X so none of the st previous knots shift. And you can do your double overhands at your interlocks if you want. I usually don't do it for trad X's just because I'm usually pretty consistent about locking it in. But so you hold the X, don't let it shift, get one side before the other, take your time, and make sure they are symmetrical in tension and everything. And then you start to see what I mean. They start to get a little bit closer together. And then you keep going down. Continue to keep the tension in the previous sections. Make sure you get your spacing between your interlocks. Just take your time. It's not super hard. I am always going to say it. It's a matter of patience and repetition. So, as you can see, I mean, the traddy tree is kind of keeping the leathers close, but more or less that's how I want the leathers to be for a trad X because when you actually break in a trad X, it's going to expand and look like that. See that? It goes from kind of a diamond to actually going into uh, just a sideways square almost. And that's how it's going to expand all the way through. Throughout the entire pocket, it's going to expand. And then that's actually going to create a very smooth release. As long as you keep the pattern going, where if you go under on the X on, from one side, so this leather from this leather connecting to that le to the other leather, as long as you always keep the pattern consistent all the way down, it'll have a very consistent feel. The one leather won't delve in further than the other or anything. It won't create a spine that sometimes happens with a pita pocket where the ball doesn't actually connect with the strings, just the leathers, which you really want it to connect with the strings so it really gets that feel. The leathers actually can bite into the ball. But Trad X's keep them very consistent all the way down and just take your time guys. It, that's all it really is. It doesn't you don't have to make it super complicated to make it work really well. So that is my video on the center track for a Trad X. Uh, I will be elaborating on some of the more advanced stuff for all you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. I know it was a little more tutorial-ish, but it's something that you guys need to know, something that you guys need to understand and try and grasp, grasp the concept in order to string it. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will be putting up another one of these next Monday, and more than likely it will be about the O channel. I might do something else. Uh, I do have another center track that some people don't usually see. I'll probably do that one. Who knows? Um, but So that's the Tradex. Like, comment, subscribe, check out all my other videos. If you guys have any questions, before you have any, ask any questions, make sure you check on my other videos to see if I answered those questions before you even ask them. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.